on? Alright. Sending out some of these memes or memes or minis or whatever those little pictures are when you are uh, poking fun at something. And I'm poking fun at uh at what happened tonight in the NBA. So I've sent out like 30 of these little memes or is it memes? 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 Whatever it's called, I'm sending them out! Because ding dong, the witch is dead! Yes! 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 The Miami Heat go down, they go down, down, down! <laughs> you are watching the Doug Stewart Show, and I am your boy Doug Stewart. Thank you for joining me! Yes, yes, yes. Oh, man. Uh, I guess I gotta say congratulations are in order to the San Antonio Spurs. And uh, they did the damn thing. That's five rings for Tim Duncan. And oh boy, he's had a fantastic career. Uh, Greg Popovich, fantastic coach. Hall of Fame in, in every sense of the word, both of those guys. And they get it done. They get their revenge from what happened last year in the series with the Miami Heat. And they win together their fifth NBA title. And, uh, wow. Incredible. I mean, incredible. The last three games were blowouts. I mean, just blowouts. All right, let's talk about the Funky Four, the four biggest things that I took away from this NBA Finals with the Spurs and the Heat. And you are watching the Doug Stewart Show, and I am Doug Stewart. Uh, you can email me, Doug, at the DougStewartShow.com. You can also text me at 770-847-0536. Tell people about the show, like the show, all of that stuff. I'm going to talk about four things. All right, real quick here. And unless you've been under a rock and you were paying attention to what I was just talking about when I came on, the, 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 the San Antonio Spurs are world champions in the NBA, and the Miami Heat are not. And once again, if you don't know, I'm not a Miami Heat fan. Not a fan of none of that crap that happened to me over the last four years. And at some point, at some point, I'm going to do a show and tell you why again. I talked about it when we were on air as the two live stews. But I have real definite reasons on why I'm not a fan of everything that went down with that organization over the last four years. Not going to get into it right now. Um, but I will at some point. But I will at some point. All right? And they're valid reasons. They're very valid reasons. And a lot of my reasons, and really I only have like two or three reasons, really my reasons, I haven't really heard a lot of people talk about the main ones. So at some point I'm going to get into that. All right, let's talk about this series and the four biggest things. I call it the funky four that I took away from the series. Number four, congratulations to Kawhi Leonard. The guy won the NBA Finals uh, MVP award. I'm trying to look for the little applause. Give him a little round of applause. 22 years old, and the guy won the NBA Finals award. Last person to do that was his teammate Tim Duncan. Okay, and and the thing about Kawhi Leonard is, is he's 22, and his upside is just tremendous. And I posted this on my Facebook and Twitter the other day. Do you think Kawhi Leonard is a guy that the organization, the, the San Antonio Spurs organization can build around? Or should they build around him? Because his skill set is all of that. The only thing and the only reason why I say maybe not is because of his, his personality. His personality doesn't really denote itself to being a leader. And I know a lot of times guys lead with their actions, and that's possible. But he's the truest sense of an introvert, where he's just like, I mean, he's so quiet. And the first time he did an interview, uh, I believe it was after game three, it was like the first time I'd ever seen him talk. So can that, I mean, you, and you've had guys, you've had less vocal guys, less demonstrative guys be leaders of teams. Someone said, what about Tim Duncan and, and Tony Parker? They're not. No, they actually are. They're very vocal and demonstrative on, on the court. And when they're playing the game, they don't seek attention from the media. There's a difference. I, I, I really love Kawhi, but can you build a team around Kawhi Leonard? We'll see. Time will tell. But that young man's upside is just tremendous. All right, number three. What about these Spurs? The team just won their fifth NBA uh, championship with the Duncan and Ginobili, uh, 
Uh, well, I don't know if Ginobili was with them with the, with the first ones that they won when David Robinson was there. But you had this basic core team together with Ginobili, Parker, and Duncan. You have Popovich as the coach. What happens? I mean, does Tim Duncan retire? He doesn't need to retire, it looks like. It looks like Tim Duncan can play another two years based on what he did in this series. Another two or three years. Okay, and he's played, what, 17 years in the NBA? And he's not slowing down a bit. So what do you think about, what do you think about Tim Duncan uh, and the Spurs and their chances of repeating again next year? I mean, I think it's possible. I think it's very possible because they played great. And one thing that was much different this year than last year was Manu Ginobili. Uh, Ginobili really didn't have a squad of a series last year. And they almost still won that series last year. And a lot of people can argue on whether they, they, they should have won the series last year or not. It doesn't even matter at this point. But, you know, Ginobili played a fantastic series. Tony Parker doesn't look like he's slowing down. When those guys are healthy, and they pretty much were very healthy in this post series, they're going to be tough to beat. They played some of the best basketball I've ever seen in my life. The way they passed the ball, the way... Everybody moved without the ball and the shots that they took and their, their bench and, and, and guys shooting three-pointers all day long. They look fantastic. They look like they can do it again. They look like they're the best team in the league coming back for next year despite their age. So what happens with the San Antonio Spurs? I know Greg Popovich said that when Tim Duncan retires, he's going to retire. I don't know if he was, you know, if that was tongue-in-cheek or what. But, I, man, I mean, the Spurs are scary. And they got old ass players and they're still scary. So that's my third thing in the Funky Four this week. And today's date is June 16th, 2014. Number two, what do the Miami Heat do? They got a lot of questions to answer. The Miami Heat have a lot of questions to answer. Okay, your bench was horrible. Eric Spolstra, was he exposed in this series as far as a coach? Clearly got out coached. Uh, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade. Uh, and Chris Bosh, all, they can opt out of their contracts. Will they do it? I don't know. If you're LeBron James, clearly you have a bunch more great years than you. Do you go to another, you know, put together team and, and, and be the final piece and help them get the championships like you did this last four years with the Miami Heat? Do you want to receive that criticism that he'll get if he goes to another stack team? Because that's going to weigh into it. I think LeBron James wants to make people happy. I don't think LeBron James wants to disappoint people uh, and fans. You know, do you do that to Miami after they embrace you? Do you go back to Cleveland after they scoffed at you and they ostracized you until, you know, uh, burned, burned you uh, in effigy? Do you do that? Do you go back there, LeBron? There's a lot of decisions that have to be made. They can opt out of the contract starting in July. So there's a lot of drama with that. We'll see what happens. What is Pat Riley going to do with this team? You know, Dwayne Wade. I mean, Dwayne Wade pretty much is shot. He's shot. I mean, it, 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 it showed in this series. Dwayne Wade is a shell of himself. And he's going to want a max deal based on his legacy with this team. Does he get it? I say hell to the no. You know, I'd let Dwayne Wade walk. We love what you did for us. Same kind of scenario with Kobe Bryant and the Lakers. Uh, he's going to want this lifetime achievement contract. Do you give it to him? Hell to the no. Ain't nothing personal as business. We're trying to win games. Are they going to sign or be able to get Carmelo Anthony to come down there and play with LeBron? Will he take the spot of LeBron, uh, uh, Dwayne Wade? They got a lot of questions, man. They got a lot of questions. And the first thing, the number one thing with this NBA Finals that I want to get into briefly is was the Heat's run, last four years run, was it a success? Ultimately, was a success, a, su a success. Get it out. I don't think so. And it's not because I'm quote unquote a Miami Heat hater. It's what they said. Okay? Yes. It's all how you look at it. Is two championships fantastic? Yeah, most times it is. Um, but were the expectations two championships? No, they weren't. LeBron James said it himself. Not three, not four, not five, not six. And he's going to live. Oh, my gosh. Those words are going to haunt him for the rest of his life. 
Okay? Once again, like I said a little bit earlier, you can make the argument that they shouldn't have won last year. Okay? You can really make that argument. They did. And they've got two, but they talked about multiple, multiple championships in three, four, five, six, seven. I think he stopped at seven. So I think if you ask them, you know, and they gave you a real answer, and they break this team up over the next couple of months, I think the answer is no. Because ultimately, two for, you know, this great legend of a player that LeBron James is supposed to be, I don't think that's what they... I don't think that's what they signed up for. You know, and really it was... It was said really out of order. Uh, because if you looked at the situation, and Chris Bosh is a great player, but he's not an all-world player, a legendary Hall of Fame type player, not yet quite. Dwayne Wade was already starting to show signs of wear when LeBron James got there. I mean, he spent the first half of his career on the ground, going to the basket, you know, and hitting the ground. So his body is catching up with him right now. So ultimately, what I'm going to say, and I'm going to ask you, what do you think? Let's keep it real. Was the Miami Heat experiment a success? I say no. I say no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. They got to rebuild down there too. All right, that's the Doug Stewart Show. Once again, you can email me, Doug, at thedougstewartshow.com. You can also text me at 770-847-0536. Like the show. Share the show. Retweet it. Do all of those things. Tell all of your people. Yes. What are your thoughts about the heat? Let your boy know. And the big thing, I forgot, the big thing is to subscribe to the show. Hit the little button right down there and subscribe. I do this every week. Try to drop it every Monday morning by 9 a.m. That's what I do. All right? Sports talk for the people. It's the Doug Stewart Show. <laughs>